For most people, that most recent Nintendo Direct laid out a pretty good roadmap for the Nintendo Switch through 2023 and even a little bit into 2024. However, there is one game that people are dying to know. Where is it? Where is Metroid Prime 4? What's going on, Nintendo? Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Botox Games, and today I wanted to talk about Metroid Prime where is it? <laughs> There's been a lot of, of confusion almost after this most recent June Direct 2023 that uh, just kind of wondering where it is. Is this game in trouble? Or are we, you know, seeing a situation where maybe it's not even close to coming out? Maybe Retro is having trouble developing it? That kind of thing. So I thought it'd be fun to make a video talking about this today because I'm very conflicted on Metroid Prime 4. I don't fully know what to believe anymore. However, I do have one thing that I do believe, and I do not believe this is a Switch 2 game. I'm going to make another video talking about Switch 2 um, and, and when I think it will come out because there's been a lot of, uh, you know, differing opinions, let's say, of whether or not it's coming out in 2024 or 2025. I am firmly in the 2025 camp. I do not think there is really a chance in hell it comes out in 2024. And for that reason, I do think that Metroid Prime 4 will probably come out in 2024 but the real question is when do we see this game i mean everybody said like oh this is gonna it's gonna be in the june direct that just makes the most sense some people myself included even speculated whether or not it would come out this year i thought that was possible i was leaning towards early 2024 and i definitely don't think that's happening now but it still could what's important to know with metroid prime 4 is that nintendo will probably be doing a similar marketing announcement release strategy that they did with Samus Returns and Metroid Dread, and that those games were actually completed before they were even announced. Uh, Samus Returns was announced at E3 2017 and released, what, three months later in September, and then similar thing with Metroid Dread where it was announced in June 2021 and released in October. Those games were if not completely finished development like Samus Returns, and I believe Dread was as well, but either way, they were very close to being done. They were confident in that release date. I think when we see Metroid Prime 4, Nintendo is going to make sure that we know or that they know it's done or pretty much ready and that they have a solid release date. I do not think there's there's a snowball chance in hell that they reveal this thing or re-reveal it, let's say, with a trailer, gameplay, that kind of thing, without a concrete release date. I don't even think a window is good enough at this point. I think when they are ready to show that game, it is because the game is coming out imminently. So let's talk about when we think we could see it. I was 50-50 on if it would show up in June Direct. That did not happen. So let's talk about September. This is another video as well, but September, we're almost certainly getting a Direct because of the Splatoon 3 DLC not showing up here. Mario Kart's next wave of DLC not having a, a release date. And that Peach game just getting announced as the Peach game. And Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon not having a release date. These things indicate that there will be a September Direct on top of the fact that we always get a September Direct. So that's the next major point that we could see a Metroid Prime 4 re-reveal. I want to say yeah, <laughs> and if, if development for that game is going smoothly, it should certainly be releasing in early 2024, like I've been saying. Um, so if they decided, okay, we just want to announce it closer to release, they could, I think, very easily end the September Direct on Metroid Prime 4, which I thought they might do with this June Direct, and then have it release in March. That's, that's totally reasonable. Nintendo announces games or, or shows games very close to when they actually release. Um, now, yeah, Metroid Prime 4 announced in 2017, they clearly regret that <laughs> based on the fact they had to restart development. So that wasn't, uh, that didn't go exactly as planned. So that's why, another point to why I think they will make sure it, it has a concrete release date before they show it again. Um, now, you can make the argument that, you know, when they showed Bayonetta 3 again in 2021, it was a full years out. That's true. Not developed by Nintendo, but funded by Nintendo, published by Nintendo. Essentially a Nintendo game. It came out in October of 2022, over a full year after it was re-revealed, after being in development for like five years, right? It was announced in 2017, similarly to Metroid Prime 4. Um, but I don't think they're going to handle it that way. And I think Bayonetta is different enough and not Nintendo enough to the point where you can't really look at that as like a pattern, you know? So I think if this game is coming out early next year, we will see it in September. But here's the kicker. If, if we don't see it in September, you know, I'm not going to say doom and gloom, oh, it's in development hell, or, oh, they're saving it for Switch 2, which is, in my opinion, 2025. We could still see it announced in the early year direct next year, let's just say February, when it normally is, and it could, once again, pretty easily be an October 2024 game for the Switch. Not, not your Switch 2, not your Switch Pro, just, just for Switch. I think that is a very realistic outcome, and, I, you know, 
it's it's very easy to look at these things and just be like, oh, doom and gloom. Not yet. <laughs> if if we somehow get to here's here's where I'll plant my flag. If we get to that February Nintendo Direct and Metroid Prime is still not shown even in that Direct next year, then yeah, I will definitely jump on board that, oh, they're just saving Metroid Prime for a Switch 2 release or a cross stream release with Switch 1. But right now, there's nothing in even indicating that there's a Switch 2 close to releasing. Anybody that says there is is fooling themselves. There's, there's nothing indicating that. Um, so to me, I, I just think that Metroid Prime 4 probably still a Switch game and will probably release... Um, at some point next year, I, I would hope early next year, you know, after the September direct, and if it's not there, I'll definitely start getting a little, a little like, huh, I wonder what's going on with that. But like I said, it could easily be announced in, in February, 2024 for a later that year release date. That's not unheard of. Even with Splatoon 3, actually another example, they, they announced that game, what, in early, early 2021, I think in that February direct. And then we didn't see it release until it, almost the end of 2022. So that was a really long gap. And that was a, you know, internally developed Nintendo game. So there are, there are things you can look at, you know, I kind of contradicting what I said with the Bayonetta, but um, yeah, I would love to hear what you all think about Metroid Prime 4 and its, its potential release. I don't want to believe that it's having issues. I, I really don't want to believe that. And I, I hope it's not I think one thing that maybe helps its case in terms of not being in trouble is the fact that they actually released Metroid Prime Remastered. We'd, we'd heard it from, you know, uh, job listings and, and recruitment stuff that Metroid Prime Remastered most likely finished development in, I believe it was September of 2021. So that means they sat on it for over a year. That's why Jeff Grubb was so confident that it would be releasing in 2022. That did not happen. It came out in February. They shadow dropped it. That game, they were sitting on that game for a while. Um, and Nintendo sets on games for a while in general, Fire Emblem and uh, and other things. So, so I think that for them to announce and release Metroid Prime Remastered shows or indicates at the very least that they are confident that Metroid Prime 4 is progressing smoothly enough. Because if they were sitting on it for a year and a half, why would they have not just released it in 2021 or 2022, right? You would think that they would save that remaster for release closer to Metroid Prime 4. Now, to be fair, once again, talking about like Bayonetta and stuff, Nintendo isn't great about releasing a collection of games and then having a new game come out close to it. Everybody thought, oh, Bayonetta 1 and 2 are coming to Switch in 2018. That means Bayonetta 3 is 2019. LOL. That was not even close to being true. So maybe there's not much you know stock to put into the idea that Metroid Prime Remastered was saved for a closer release to Prime 4, but I think that certainly maybe helps its its chances of of, of being in, in, in a, a smooth development cycle, right? Um, so yeah, I would be cur very curious to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think is going on with Prime 4? I have to say, I, you know, with each passing direct, you get a little bit more skeptical, but also you have to understand that people have been saying, if we don't see Prime 4 here, it's, it's something's wrong for the past three years. So, you know, hold on to your pants. We, we, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. But if we don't see it within the next 12 months, then maybe not. <laughs> then maybe not. At that point, yeah, I will I will concede and say that maybe they are saving it for the next Nintendo hardware. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think is going on with Prime 4? When do you think we will see it announced and then released? That's what I'm most curious about down in the comments below. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at BotoxGames. Join the Nintendo Select Discord. That is for my podcast. That is down below. Also, just a general Nintendo gaming server. So join that out for some fun and discussions. And until next time, folks, peace.